Hi guys, US1 Programming back with another C tutorial. And in this one, I'll just teach you the extreme basics of computer hardware that you'll need to know to proceed on to the next topic, which is variables. So, right here um, are the two uh, main components of a computer, and the only ones that you'll need to know about for the most part. And um, this is uh, the CPU, which you'll commonly be, uh, you'll commonly hear referred to as um, the brain of the computer. I just like to call it the cortex because that's really more accurate. The cortex is just the part of the brain that does the thinking. So essentially, the CPU, for the most part, doesn't have any memory other than registers, which we'll talk about way later. But um, uh, so the compu uh, the CPU can essentially do any uh, most mathematical operations and some others, but it can't store the result. It, it has to go to somewhere called the memory. So the memory is just a place where you can uh, store the result and the mem when programmers say memory it refers to the RAM generally because the RAM uh, the RAM is just a part of the memory that you interact with and um, uh, looking at it from a hardware pers perspective RAM is just really fast memory that isn't permanent so once you turn the computer off everything on the RAM dies. Um, so don't confuse the RAM with the hard disk, which is a separate thing. Uh, it's also memory, but that's permanent, and it's way slower than the RAM. So when you're a programmer, you interact with the RAM. When your program ends, everything uh, that you made on it, except for files that you may have written, will have uh, will die. So it won't it won't exist anymore. Uh, that's basically it. That's all you need to know for this uh, uh, for this tutorial on computer hardware. See you in the next video, which will be about variable types.